Hello, gang. Hello, friends. Hello, gang, friends. Look, we're zoomed out today. Welcome back. Uh, thank you for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. Are you well? I hope you're well. If you're new, hello. <laughs> My name's Jo. And I do nail stuff. She does stuff. I can't do it today. I'm sorry. <laughs> and the stuff she does when nails is done with nail stuff there and stuff. Okay, I pulled myself together. I'll tell you why I had the giggles a bit later on. Today we're going to be looking at the Vetsy Spring um, box. It's a box. And you're going to, one of you's going to win one as well. We'll get to that in a bit as well with all the details on how to and what to and so on and so forth. So let's have a look inside the Vetsy Spring box. Look at the bubble wrap. It's hearts. It's so f***ing adorable. And we have a little card with... A list of everything what's in the box what's in the box so we'll open it up and we'll have a look together i hadn't opened it yet so oh first things first a scrunchie i need a new scrunchie so i'm very happy about this because it's a nice sturdy scrunchie but at the same time it does mean i have no reason to go on claire's accessories and order a shit ton of scrunchies but that's fine nail stuff we're starting with some big blingy blings. They're not flat backed, so you'd want to sit these in um, either poly gel acrylic or like a uh, a gel glue, like a fuck's sake, like a gem gel type deal. You'd want to put a blob of that and rest them into it. And then we have these. We're going to use these today. Little gold stringy bits. <laughs> I describe everything as bits um, and they had little white petals in as well and then we have this super fudging I think I'm a bit effy today super yellow liner pen again the screen looks a little bit misted it's not you it's me the, I filmed this the same time as I filmed the beginning of the last video so there's a bit misty and we froze in here because I was wiggling it around and you couldn't see but they're little flower um it's a, a silicone mold but you use it like you would a stamping plate although although you don't pick up the image well, there's the instructions i'll let you i'll let you pause and read that <laughs> i won't try and explain it um but the screen does get less misty when we do the actual nails that we're doing today so that is a mold that you put gel polish in scrape it off cure it and then poke it out and then put it on the nail or top it poke it out put it on the nail i opened that upside down little wheel of it's not a wheel it's a flower wheel of look at this oh so cute little rainbow lollipop and then other uh 3d embellishments in there they are big um but i mean oh i see i had to I had to put them all back in the right place i could not move on without doing so um yeah they are big but some people wear like massive things on their nails don't they so they're pretty cool um and then this rabbit which does have a feel a, a film a film on it which you peel off so it'd be clear i had no idea what this was and <laughs> i couldn't figure it out and it was annoying me because i thought is it a little stand no it would just fall over so i went online and found um this it's one of these that you hold for when you're so you'd put the nail on there blue check it on there and then paint it so now we know what that is for little demonstration for you put it aside okay and now we have gl281h which is a glitter a big fat pot of glitter really cute one pinks and iridescent bits and yellows and very springy um, yeah, huge, huge, these pots of glitter. And then the next one is GL236K. And that is, this is really springy as well, but do you know what I see when I think, when I, do you know what I, what? Do you know what I think when I see this? Mermaid stuffs. Mermaid stuffs in summer. That's really nice. With some golds in there. It's like the sand and the sea. Uh, but springy as well. And then we have two unicorn 
gels UG04 and 05. The one on the left is has got a purpley bluey glow, which I I didn't swatch. Uh, shh, who's that? Oh, uh, but this one you can see I did swatch that was going to be part of the set today but I got annoyed with what I was doing and changed it so but I thought I'll show you that because I had put it on a nail and it looked bananas and then we have four solid gel polishes how nice is that one <gasps> and then okay this one is mermaid 06 and this is I think I'm going to have to look at the other mermaid ones if this is 06 um, hopefully there's not a million because I I've decided I want them all. Um, this is so gorgeous. Showing it on black because I, I don't know why. <laughs> and then I think I swatched it on my thumb. Did I? Yes. Look at that. <gasps> it's alive. It, uh, I like it when nail polish looks like it's alive, like it has a soul. A soul and, a, a, and hopes and dreams and wishes. <laughs> okay, come the fuck on, Bridget. And then we have two um, modelling clays. Not clays, gels. <laughs> modelling gels. We have a brown one. And yeah, so they're, um, they're like sort of putty type gel. And then, yes, yeah, so a brown and white one. And then we have a brush. Brush brush which oh, I couldn't get my camera to focus a lot of the time while showing these things I was getting a little bit annoyed um, which is a, a striper brush at one end and then a gel brush at the other end and then this which is a wax crystal picker upper and on the other end I feel like I've talked about this already <gasps> have I already done this video wait no I think I've just talked about it in the last video. So this is the pusher end of the crystal picker upper, but can also be used as a teeny tiny dotting tool, as demonstrated by repeatedly stabbing myself in the hand. <laughs> and then we have these, which are really shimmery. They're pigments, and I couldn't figure out what they are. They're the thermo, ther I can't stay still. Thermochromic pigment powder, which shifts colours in when they're hot or cold haven't quite figured out how to use them haven't experimented too much with them but i'll find out and we'll use them soon and then we have a ton of stickers these ones are a little bit raised but not so much that you couldn't cover them with gel polish and then we have some flames flame boy and then some more flowers and some little words cute and flower very nice and then the next ones, we are these the ones we use today? Yes. Um, shiny gold and some moons in there. Didn't use the moon one today. Um, I went for the pinky ones. And then some more little flowers. Again, with all the Vetsy boxes, you there's so much stuff in there. The boxes are heavy. There's so much stuff in there. Um, oh, these are daisies. You can just make out the white and some of them have got smiley faces they're happy daisies the rest aren't they're fucking miserable um, <laughs> um all their boxes come with so much stuff that you don't need to do any sorry hiccups any hand painting any you don't need any sort of skill to use all the stuff in their boxes which i think is really cool um, and there's so many different sets you could make out of all the stuff these oh my goodness breathe these are i've wanted some of these for so long metallic watercolor paints so you add, we're going to use the gold one today um so they, they they're not transferring when i touch them here we obviously add water to them to sort of activate them um so we'll use that and then the last thing was this lovely big bag a gogo -Go original i don't know who gogo -Go is but she makes a nice makeup bag it's got a nice canvas inside i suppose you could put everything from that box in there or use it use it however you wish um but that's cute so we're going to put everything back in so we can have a little recap metallic paints six packs of stickers thermochromic pigments 
a solid gel polish, a crystal picker upper, another solid gel polish, another solid gel polish. Don't do it. Don't do it. Um, it's Archibald Arseldon all over again. Um, yeah, loads of stuff. Oh, that little thing in the clear bag that I didn't show you was the little square that you paint to put on side on the front of the bottle of polish. Um, God, still going. Is that the last thing? Maybe not. This is scrunchy. Oh, no, it's not. I remember this. The rabbit thing. So that is everything. And you can win your very own Betsy Spring box. Um, and I will tell you how. But the rest of the time, you can use this code and the link in the description to get money off at Betsy on all your orders. I don't think you can use it on this box but you can use it on all the stuff inside the box, um, if that makes sense. Yeah, I don't think you can use it on the boxes. So I'm back. It's uh, a few days later. I've redone my nails, black again, <laughs> but they're fresh. And we're going to start this set. And once we've got this first nail out of the way, I will tell you about how to um, the giveaway for one of those Vetsy boxes, because they're doing three nails very similar. But I'm starting by doing some breathing, some slow breathing. I'm painting two nails with two coats of white. Oh, and then I forgot to film painting this peachy colour. So I did two coats of that. And this is the, the, um, the brush that came in the box as well. So I put a dollop of the white in the middle of this nail, deciding which angle to go from. Then I'm taking an ombre brush ombre brush and just so I put quite a bit of white on there and then just pulling from the center up and then from the center down just to I had no idea what I was doing with this set I'd sat at my desk for three hours tried a few things thrown them away achieved nothing <laughs> so now we're just making it up so I cured that and then I'm going to repeat it just so that the wispy bits that come off are, are more opaque and then we're going to cure it and then pop on one of these little stickers and give it a press down I do like to press quite firmly with um with the stickers because sometimes when you go to top it they can lift if they're not pressed down properly you'll get obviously it will mess up the top coat it, it, it will it won't sit flush so make sure it's pressed down enough and then we're going to use the pusher but as a dotting tool and just do some little dots and then cure those. And then I decided it needed more. Um, I didn't think, I didn't feel like I'd used enough stuff. So we're taking this and I have already had a go, which is why the water looks that colour. This is water. It's not isopropyl alcohol or acetone. It is water. And I'm putting quite a bit in there to... Um, you know, wetten, wetten, wet, <laughs> wet the, um, this metallic watercolour paint. It's the first time I've ever used it. So I was kind of getting to grips with it. It gets better maybe on the third nail. Um, and I just used the ombre brush and did some strokes like that. Went to put it in the lamp, realised you don't need to, just let it air dry. And then we're going to top. And I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> on the next two nails and then we're going to do something else but I'm just moving the placement around and you'll see I sort of slowly start to where am I going with this I kind of do I get better with the watercolor paints I wouldn't say better I would say different <laughs> so I'm still got I'm still as a learning curve I think um with using those but I love the the real glowiness of that metallic it really glows so we cured that and now we're going to whiz through the next two. Should I, what was I laughing at, at the beginning? Oh, fudging hell. Oh no, I need to tell you about how to win the giveaway. So to win the giveaway, where's my messages of Vetsy? Ah, here we are. Um, so for your chance to win the Vetsy spring box, there's a couple of things you need to do, though none of them require you to move. So it's all good. Um, you have to... Subscribe to them on here on, on uh, what are we on? YouTube. 
subscribe to them on YouTube and subscribe to me, not me, to this channel, to Miss Joe's Nail Co. Um, and Vetsy. And leave a comment in the description of this, not in the description, in the comments, <laughs> in the comment section of this video. Just letting me know that you would like to win. Tell me, give me the spring box. Give it to me now. Um, or you can just say hello. I would like to enter. You can leave a joke if you like. Brownie points for jokes. And then I will pick a winner at random. And then I will contact you. I'll reply to your comment first and we'll get in touch. And I'll give your details to Betsy and they will send you the spring box. And then the other thing that they would like you to do is to tag them on Instagram once you get the box. So take a picture if possible, do an unboxing video um, and tag them on Instagram. But I did say that not everyone is going to be able to do an unboxing maybe you know some people might not know how or might not be able to film it but you will need to be able to post a picture at least on um instagram and tag them oh and tag me as well so i know you've got it um they do ship to the uk canada australia the us and some european countries if that's not where you are apologies about that um but if in, if I pick someone and it's from a country they don't ship to, then I'll I'll have to pick someone else. But I think it covers most of you. Um, so that's it. That's all you have to do. Subscribe to them. Subscribe to me. Leave a comment. And then once you get it, tag them on Instagram. I wish you all the very best of luck. I wish you could all have one. But that's not how the world works. <laughs> Shall I tell you why? I was... Um laughing at the beginning i feel like i haven't made a big enough deal out of the giveaway i just I, you know i know a lot of channels are like Rah! whereas you know i'll just tell you how to enter and that's it enter um <laughs> i was laughing because i was having a pmt day today whilst buying my friend a birthday card and writing in the card online and i've written a complaint letter as a ps inside her card <laughs> Right, what we're doing here, I'll tell you what it says in a minute. I've done, on the nails that I've done white, I'm doing one coat of the peachy colour over it, but I'm not curing yet. I'm going to take the picker, the poker, the poker, and just run down some, run some lines through it. So obviously applying enough pressure to go through it. I did have to go over this quite a bit, obviously the, the, closer together your lines are or the thinner <laughs> the lines are the gel is going to want to join back up again so I just kept going over and over until I sort of caught up with myself you know I do some on this side and then have to go back to the other side because some of them are closed up um, and then we're going to cure it and then yeah keep going I was enjoying doing that it's really fun it's something that I think would be easier to do on a person for some reason um so we cured that and now we're putting some base coat down and we're going to add some little bits and pieces from here and try and make some flowers this again it's a make it up as you go along set although i was secretly just a tiny bit impressed that i, I thought of doing this shouldn't have been considering the clue of i guess what to do with them is kind of staring in the face but I was just having those days, couldn't think of anything. So I was like, oh, I've had an idea. I'm a fucking genius. So here's what my friend's birthday card says. <laughs> Dear Snot Face, blah, 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 happy birthday, blah, 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 sentimental paragraph, uh, gift to come soon, love you so much, it's silly, blah, 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 blah. P.S. Now she really appreciates my complaint letters. She, lo she loves to see them. Um, so I thought I'm going to include one in her card. P.S. Making this card online was an effing in capital letters because they wouldn't let me write the word f um, was an effing joke. And now I hate all pigeons. I got it from Funky Pigeon. And now I hate all pigeons and anything described as funky. Useless piece of crap app. Funky Pigeon, I hate you. <laughs> and then on the back of the card... There's a picture of this pigeon, this funky pigeon. And I put, 
this bird is asking to be a pie. And then when I'd finally managed to complete checkout with that card, which I had to try and do so many bloody times, there's only, there's only a certain amount of genuineness that can come from a sentimental paragraph when you're writing it for the 20th time. It said, would you like to review the app? <laughs> yes, I would. Um, and my review, oh, I can't find it, but my review was, um, I've never wanted to punch a pigeon in the face until this day. Um, and about how, oh, I cured that stuff. And then we're going to top and that's it. We'll do the same on the other nail. Um, and then I said, I tried so many times until I gave up and threw my phone into the ocean, weighed down with the corpse of a pigeon. So zero out of 10 for user interface would not recommend. Do recommend the Vetsy spring box. Look at the gold. <gasps> ooh, ooh. And it matches with the gold little, little slithery, stringy bits of wispy gold on the flowery ones. They've all got flowers on. <laughs> I hope you like them. Please do comment to enter the giveaway. Um, I think that's really great. Thank you for Vetsy for letting me do one of those. If you do like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Thank you.